Hey everyone, welcome back and welcome to day three of our 30 day Pilates journey, finding your center. So um, today we're gonna continue focusing on this area here to strengthen. We're gonna find some bigger movements so that we can challenge this core and, um, and hopefully you guys will feel that strength, that stability that we've worked on in the last couple of days. So um, we're gonna start first in just a nice, easy seated position. So you can be cross-legged, you can be on your knees, whatever feels best for you. And I just want you to sit up nice and tall, just have your arms just nice and easy um, on your legs and First, let's just do a few shoulder rolls up and back. Just loosening up that shoulder area. Let's do one more. Good, now keep the shoulders down the back. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. Think of expanding that breath into the rib cage like we worked on. So take a deep breath in into the ribs. And exhale let it all go. Let's do that again. Deep breath in and exhale, release. Good. Let's do two more. Inhale this time. Add the arms as you lift the arms up to the sky and exhale. Let it go. Good. Let's do one more like that. Inhale, arms lift and exhale, release. All right, continuing with the breath, we're gonna move side to side. So inhale, go ahead and bring that left arm up as you reach it over to your right, and then exhale back to center. Inhale, right arm lifts over to your left, and exhale back to center. Good, one more time each side, inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale. Exhale, good, back to center. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn to face the side for our seated half rollbacks. So we're gonna start coming halfway down first. So sitting up nice and tall here on those sitting bones, arms are gonna reach out in front. Good, take your inhale, slide the shoulders down, pull that core in. Exhale, as you scoop the belly, roll back behind the sitting bones, find that C curve. Good, inhale here. And exhale, scoop round and lift. Inhale and exhale. Good, inhale here. Exhale, pull the ribs down as you scoop and lift. Inhale and exhale. Good, inhale here. Exhale, round and lift. All right, we're gonna come all the way down now. We're gonna do a few up and down. So rolling all the way down to the mat and back up. So inhaling here, again, feel how your core keeps you lifted and tall. And then exhale as we bring it down bone by bone. Good, inhale, arms lift back behind you. Exhale, chin to chest, peel off. And inhale, lift at the top. And then again, exhale, roll it down. Good. Deepening that center, deepening that core all the way down. Inhale, arms back. Exhale, roll back up and lift. Good. Inhale here. Exhale. I want you to come half to three quarters of the way down. Hold here. Take a deep breath in. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Pull belly down to spine. And again, inhale, deep breath in. Good. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Good, exhale, deepen, deepen. And then you come all the way back down, bringing those arms by your sides. All right, walk those feet in. So the feet are gonna come towards you, legs are in parallel. And we wanna keep those legs in parallel as we move. So arms are gonna come, arms are gonna come by your sides. We're gonna do our flat back bridging. What that means is we're gonna hinge at the hips to come up, keeping the back nice and flat as opposed to rolling up and down. So when you're ready, you're gonna go ahead and press into the feet as you press up with the hips. Good, and then we lower back down. Just to tap and then we lift back up and lower. Good, lift, lower. 
Good, let's do six, five. Remember not to thrust those ribs, right? Ribs stay in line with the hips. Last three, two, and one. Good, hold here at the top, little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold here at the top. Now we're gonna do single leg toe tower, or single leg lifts, so marching. We're gonna draw that right leg to tabletop without dropping the pelvis or shifting. Place that right leg down, switch to the other side. Good. So this is where that stability comes into play, right? The more we stay stable through here, through our center, the less we're gonna shift and kind of Drop the hips, drop the torso. We want to keep all that nice and still. Let's do one more at each side. Good, draw the right leg to tabletop. Hold it here. We're gonna do single leg toe tap. So we tap and lift, tap, lift. Good, so a lot of work happening in this left glute to keep you steady. Lots of core work. Let's do one more tap and lift good place that foot down let's switch to the other side good bring that left leg to tabletop find that steadiness and then we tap lift good tap and lift let's do four three last two and one good place that foot down switching back to the other side right leg comes up to tabletop then it extends to the sky. If that doesn't work, keep it in tabletop. We're gonna inhale as we reach that leg away. Exhale, lift it up. Good, inhale, reach. Exhale, lift. This is more challenging. Last one. And lift, good, bend the knee, place it down. Switching to the other side. The left leg either to tabletop or extended. Then we inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, lower and lift last one lower and lift good place that foot down take your inhale here and then exhale this time roll it down bone by bone as we come all the way down very nice all right i want you to bring your right leg in grabbing on behind the thigh and i want you to extend the leg now up towards the ceiling so Start and point and flex through that ankle. And while you're doing this, you should feel a hamstring stretch on the back of that leg. Good. Flex and point. And then do some ankle circles now. Good. And reverse the circles. Should feel so good. Our feet often get neglected, so always good to stretch out those ankles stretch out those feet all right so now keep the left leg either bent with your foot on the floor or reaching long this is gonna be a bigger stability challenge with the leg long keep that right leg reaching up towards the sky keep the knee bent a little if you need to now we're gonna have to really work this core work this center to keep this body stable we're gonna start with small circles small leg circles so Everything stays grounded, including the pelvis. We're gonna inhale, bring the leg across the body, down, around, and up. These are not big circles. So if you look at my circles here, right? It's not this humongous circle because we're only going as big as we can without shifting the torso, without shifting the pelvis. Lots of core strength, lots of centering. Good, hold here. Let's reverse the circles. Out, around, and lift. Good, out, around, and lift. Okay, let's do four. Three, exhale, up. Inhale, out, two, exhale, lift. Last one, exhale, up. Good, bend that knee in, give it a squeeze. Go ahead and place that foot on the mat. Bend your left leg in, bring your hands behind the thigh. Now extend that leg up towards the ceiling, point and flex that ankle. So I would say the bigger you go with those circles, the more challenging it becomes. So 
um, you can kind of choose which level you are at. So go ahead and do your ankle circles now. And then go ahead and reverse those circles. All right, now again, choose this position of your right leg, either bent or straight. Go ahead and reach through that left leg towards the sky. Good, let's start those circles here. Let's go across the body first, down around, exhale up. Good, inhale, exhale, lift. Good, inhale, exhale, center. Last three, two, last one. Let's reverse it, coming out, down, around, and up. Good, out, down, around, and up. Out, down, around, lift. Last two, last one. Good, bend that knee in, give it a nice gentle squeeze. Good, and then bring both legs into your chest, holding on to the tops of those knees. Take a deep inhale and exhale, let it go. All right, now go ahead and bring the legs into your tabletop position. We're now gonna move into our ab curls and then add on to that. So go ahead and bring those arms up to the sky. Draw the shoulders down, connect to the ribs. Take an inhale, exhale, lift into your ab curl. Arms come down, inhale, lower and lift the arms. Good, and exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, inhale. Good, check in with your neck here too. Make sure it's not jamming forward, right? We don't wanna feel any tension. Your neck should be just in line with the spine. Good, last one, I want you to stay lifted and hold. This is a single straight leg stretch. You're gonna draw the legs up to the sky. Draw your hands behind your right leg, shoulders down, reach the left leg long. As you pull that leg towards you, pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch. So you're trying to stay in your ab curl throughout this movement. The legs reaching long are a bigger challenge for our center. Good. Good, pulse, 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 good. Always make sure you're not arching your lower back off the mat. One more on the left. Good, bring the knees in and lower it down. All right, moving right into double straight leg stretch. Lift yourself back into your ab curl. This time bring the arms by your sides, but not touching the mat. Legs reach up to the sky together. Inhale as we lower the legs down to your point of control. Exhale, lift. What that means is you don't go any lower than where you can keep your core and center engaged. Good, inhale, reach, exhale up. Once you start to feel that low back coming off the mat, that is where you stop. Good, and lift two more, lower, and lift. Last one, lower, and lift. Good, bend the knees in. Lower back down. Go ahead and bring the head side to side. All right. So now we're going to move that into our hundreds. So hundreds. Beautiful cardio, cardiovascular system. Get that going. All right. We're going to pump those arms with that sniffing breath. So I want you to find your hundreds position. Lifting into your ab curl. Reach the legs long. Legs can stay here in tabletop. They can reach out. Right, now we're gonna inhale and reach the legs out. Exhale, pull them in while we're pumping the arms. So ready, inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good, keep that going. Halfway there. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. You got this last one. Good, bring everything in, lower it down. All right, so as you can see, right, as you bring your legs out, there's that challenge. 
right? As you pull them in, you'll feel more stable. And then you gotta keep that stability as you extend. All right, let's go ahead and find an easy supine twist. Go ahead and bring your right leg into your chest and then bring it across the body. Look over that right shoulder. Uh, this should feel so nice. Good, pull that leg back into center. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. So left leg pulls in. Go ahead and bring it over to the right. Look over that left shoulder. Just a nice, easy twist. Go ahead and pull it back to center. Both legs are gonna come in. You wanna rock yourself up to seated. And we are gonna find our side leg series, our side lying leg series. So we're gonna come all the way down onto our side. You wanna make sure that your back from your crown of your head to your pelvis is lined up at the back edge of your mat. That will ensure if you are in a nice straight line. All right, now your elbow can be here like mine. You can be laying down on your arm like this if that feels better. I want you to reach those legs forward. Now, really important here, where are your hips and shoulders? I want them stacked on top of each other. So if you're feeling that your right hip or that top hip is dropping back. I want you to stack it back up and keep it there. Now, even on this side line, pull the belly in and up, right? Keep this active, because we don't want any shaking of the torso. All right, so I want you to start to reach this top leg out of the hip socket, right? Reach it long, bring this top hand to the mat. We start to lift and lower this leg. Good, lift lower so the toes and the knees stay pointing forward lift lower good so here right staying strong this one is not the challenging one where we'd be rocking back and forth we're going to get to those we want to stay stable last one good all right now we're going to flex through this top ankle keep the leg at hip height now we want to go ahead and bring that leg forward we kick kick Good, point the toe, pull back, pulse, pulse. Good, forward, kick, kick, bring it back, pulse, pulse. So this is where that center needs to stay strong and stable, right? So we don't wanna be tipping forward and back with that torso. Good, kick, kick, and back, back. Good, kick, kick, and back, back. Let's do two more sets. And back, last one and back good all right keeping it here we're going to do circles we're going to keep them pretty small for this one so think about the size of a dinner plate so not very big but again this is going to challenge that stability three two one now reverse ten nine eight seven six five four three two one, good. Now go ahead and bring both legs together. Now you're gonna lift and lower both legs at the same time. So we're gonna feel a lot more of the obliques as well as the legs reaching, okay? So now your legs are in line with the rest of the body. Good, top hand stays down. Now we lift and lower, good, together. So keep those inner thighs squeezing. Good, reach and lower. You may wanna bring your head down for this onto that bottom arm, lift, lower, good. Let's do six and five, four, last three, two, and one. Good, lower it all the way back down. All right, come on to your back before we switch to the other side. I want you to lay down, draw the legs to tabletop. All right, we're gonna come up and do a teaser here. So go ahead and inhale, bring the arms back behind you. Exhale, you're gonna roll the spine all the way up until it's in beautiful, proud chest, proud heart here. You can bring your feet to the mat if this is too difficult with them lifted. And I want you to hold them here for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, lower the feet all the way down. Go ahead and switch right to the other side. So laying on 
that opposite side now. Again, lining yourself along that back edge, that will help. All right, and something I also wanna mention, even though you're here, right, we're not letting the bottom part of our ribs or the side that's against the mat just rest, right? We don't wanna just release it. Almost we wanna feel like there's a tiny, tiny little um, hole here and this bottom part of our waistline lifting up away from the mat. Okay, we call it our little mouse hole. And that's just ensuring that we stay active through here as well, right? Instead of just releasing and relaxing. All right, so with that, stack those hips, stack those shoulders. Go ahead and lift that top leg. Let's lift and lower that leg now. Good, lift, lower, good. So it's all these kind of small adjustments, these small, um, little movements that really make a difference with the exercise, right? So they may seem small, but they're gonna get you in that correct alignment. They're gonna get you activating the correct muscles. They're gonna keep you strong in your center. Good, let's do one more. Lift, lower, good. Now we're gonna flex through this top ankle and we're gonna kick it forward, kick, kick. And then we point as we pull it back. Good, kick, kick and back. So you're gonna know when you have gone too far with that leg coming forward and back because you'll start to kind of shift and tip your body. So be mindful of that and make sure to stop right before that happens. Good. And back, last one, kick, kick, and bring it back. All right, leaving the leg here at hip height, make sure those hips are stacked again. We're gonna do those small circles with the leg. This one is more challenging than it looks in keeping that upper body still. Kind of with those single, same with the single leg circles when you're laying on the back that we did. Good, now hold here, reverse those circles. Let's do seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. Now bring the legs back so they're in line with the rest of the body. Bring that bottom arm down so you can rest your head on it. And we're gonna lift and lower both legs together. Good, so we lift and lower. Good, lift, lower, reach. Good, and lift. Feeling those top obliques working. Good, and reach. Let's do four. And three, last two, and one, good. All right, come to lay on your back again. We are gonna do that teaser one more time. All right, so legs back in tabletop position, arms back behind you. Keep the ribs down, even as the arms lift, take an inhale here. Exhale, peel the spine off. Good, find your core, slide the shoulders down. Good, slight arch or slight roundness in your lumbar spine. Heart and chest lift. Okay, let's do five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna reverse this coming back down. Good, come nice and slow. See how slow you can go. Good, deepening. And then once the arms come back, Go ahead, pull the knees into the chest and give the knees a hug. All right, bring your feet to the mat. We're gonna go ahead and flip on over onto our belly. So we're gonna do a little bit of our back body work now. We're gonna start first with some of that swan that we did yesterday. But this time the hands are gonna be stacked and underneath the forehead. So with the hands there, now reach the, uh, the legs nice and long first. Really make sure they're lengthening out. At the same time, you're pulling your belly in and up away from the mat, sliding the shoulders down the back. All right, keeping all that connected, we're gonna start to lift the head, the arms, all together as one unit, right? So this will not be able to come up as high and then you lower back down as high as you did yesterday with the hands on the mat. So again, belly in, lengthening in the lower back. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Good, inhale, lift, 
Exhale, lower. Let's do three more. Three. Last two. Last one. And lower down. Good. Now we're going to keep the head and the arms on the mat. And now we're going to lift just the legs. So still pull the belly in, slide the shoulders down, pulling everything into the center. All right, keeping that there. Now with straight legs, we lift the legs up, lower them down. Good, lift, lower. So you should feel glutes here working. Your legs are just slightly turned out in the hip sockets, nothing too severe. Good, lift, lower. Let's do three, two, last one, good. All right, now we're gonna do both of those together. So lifting upper and lower body together. So go ahead and take, take all your, or bring all your goodies in, right? Belly, lengthening that lower back, shoulder sliding down to the ribs. Inhale as you lift it all up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. Feel how when you engage and you pull everything into center, right? You should not be feeling this a ton in the lower back, right? Obviously we're working the lower back here, but I don't want you to feel pain. I want you to feel that you're being supported everywhere else so that the lower back isn't taking all of the work here. Last one, lift and lower. Good, coming all the way down. All right, place your hands under your shoulders. Press yourself up into an all fours position. And we're gonna move from this position in all fours to a child's pose. We can stretch out that lower back a little bit here. So, right, so in all fours, right, shoulders are down, connected to the ribs, belly's pulling in, spine is long. I want you to take your inhale here. And then on your exhale, start to round the lower back and then round the rest of the spine as you bring the hips back by the heels, sink into a child's pose. And then we're gonna inhale as we come back forward, rounding first until we wave the spine into a flat back. And then we exhale as we pull the belly back round and bring it down. Inhale as we round back forward and lengthen into our neutral spine. And exhale round. Inhale forward. Exhale round. Inhale forward. Last one, exhale. Good, inhale. Good, hold here in your all fours. I just want you to move here through the hips a little bit, kind of wiggling a little side to side. Maybe you move into some circles with the body, moving through the hips and the shoulders and the neck. And then go ahead and reverse those circles. Good. And then go ahead and sit back on your heels. All right, go ahead and bring yourself around to face center. You guys just finished day three. So proud of you guys. Thank you for sticking with me. Hopefully you felt that strength at that center as we found those bigger movements in our body. Um, farther away from the body challenges that core. So great job today. Um, I look forward to seeing you back for day four tomorrow. So if you have any questions or comments, would love to hear what you think, go ahead and leave a comment below. Um, if you're interested in doing a little bit more core work today, I'll go ahead and link a, um, a quick um, lower back friendly core workout here. It's awesome. Um, also, I will link a um, kind of a quick stretching workout if you just want to get a little quick stretch after this. So thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you back here on the mat tomorrow.